Hello YouTube, Bear Prepper here. I'm having a sweet tooth craving, so we're going to make some food storage tapioca pudding. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one third a cup of sugar. It would help if I had everything I needed. I could probably move much smoother and faster. And we need three tablespoons of tapioca. I know some people don't like tapioca, but I kind of like it. I just don't care for it with raisins. So three tables in that. Recipes on the box. Three tablespoons of tapioca. To make two and three quarter cups of milk, I'm going to use three quarters cups of powdered milk and two and a half cups of water. We're going to mix that up, and we're going to need one egg, and we'll just use one tablespoon of egg, our good old powdered egg mix. I like to use the whole eggs, but you can use whatever you like. So we're going to put that in the saucepan and we're going to let that stand for five minutes. Turn that stove back off. I got ahead of myself. Alrighty. So we'll be back in five. Okay. So it looks like it's pretty close to a rolling boil. I can still turn it stir it down for a couple seconds so before it goes any further because we don't want it too thick we're going to shut it off mine's an electric burner so it's going to keep going for a minute or two so you might want to pull it off the heat I want to give it those few seconds more of thickening pour in one teaspoon of vanilla Oh, there goes my strawberries. And then we're going to stir in half a cup of dehydrated strawberries, or freeze-dried strawberries, and a half a cup of freeze-dried raspberries. So this is going to be my straw ras tapioca. And what that will do is that will absorb any of the liquids that are left. And in 20 minutes, this will be ready. I'll show you when it's cool. So there you go. Finished tapioca pudding. I put a little cinnamon on top. But the sweetness is just perfect. And the raspberry and strawberries are completely rehydrated. And they look wonderful. Blessings.